What's going on the guys, Krahu here, and today is a pretty interesting topic which you guys asked for, so uh, so yeah, we're gonna discuss a couple of things, I hope you will, en you will enjoy the gameplay in the background, and I hope you will enjoy what I am about to tell you. So, uh, I think it it's about time for me to kind of summarize uh, my life in general in the year 2012, since, you know, it's December 17th. Uh, so New Year's is approaching very fast and a lot of you wanted me to talk more about my personal life about You know, whatever college or or whatever else there is to talk about So I decided why the hell not and if you guys enjoy it uh, be sure to leave a thumbs up be sure to leave a comment And yeah, let's get it started. So what could be said about 2012 for me? Um, it sucked. It sucked big time um, I guess that's not true I guess it wasn't all too bad, but with everything that has happened, health-wise and just in general, uh, it sucked. So for all my new subscribers that do not know, uh, back in April, I made a video regarding my diagnosis. I've been talking about it on Twitter for a little bit. I've been feeling off since May of 2011. So, since May, I went to the doctor a couple of times uh, because I felt like shit. Uh, I, felt, I felt really bad. Um, you know, there was a constant feeling of dizziness, just lack of energy, and, it's, and it just came on me very, very rapidly. Like, it dawned on me very rapidly, it happened. So, I went to Poland in the f winter of 2011, you know, to visit my family, spend Christmas over there, and afterwards, I told myself that I would go to the doctor. So, in January of 2000, or actually February of 2012, I decided to get checked out. So, you know, the doctor did whatever he had to do, he touched my uh, throat, and he said that my thyroid is enlarged, and for me to get x-rays down on my chest, and arms, and feet, and whatever, so I did, and everything came back normal, uh, and I told my doctor, because I was smoking, like, cigarettes for five years prior to that, that I was worried more about, like, my lungs and stuff like that than the thyroid. But then he told me that he was more worried about my thyroid and stuff, so... What ended up happening was I got a, um, what is that, ultrasound done on my, on my neck area, on my thyroid, and it turns out that I had a lump there. And it turned out that it was cancerous and that, in fact, I did have thyroid cancer. So as you may imagine, hearing news like that is... Well, I looked at it from my parents' point of view. Like, it must have sucked for them because, to be quite honest, as far as I go, I... You know, at least it didn't happen to my sister or to my, you know, girlfriend or mom or dad or whatever. So I could live with it, but, you know, my mom was kind of worried, but she got over it because, you know... We are together, I told her not to worry and stuff like that. So I got my surgery done in June, so it was a very rapid process. Good news was that, you know, the cancer didn't spread anywhere. And that, and in the meantime, of course, I had to go to college, finish my papers. So everything just all at once happened and it sucked. I was out of energy. I was exhausted. I was doing videos for YouTube, of course, as you guys remember. Uh, but I kept to myself for the most part. You guys knew I had cancer, but and that I was getting an operation, but for the most part, I, I left it out. So, you know, after the operation is where shit became real. Um, so I had my operation on June 1st, got out of the hospital on June 3rd, I believe. And, uh, and yeah, uh, the recovery process started, and, you know, I had some sort of a thyroid then, but obviously since they took it out, I do not have that gland anymore, and it just made my life... An absolute living hell. I am dizzy all the time. I have pains in my muscles, um, in my joints, and that's typical because I have a you know hypothyroid or fucking the lack thereof a thyroid at all. Uh, so everything just became twice as difficult. Waking up in the morning, you know, getting that pill, and everything again just became really, really annoying and difficult. And I became moody and angry all the time. And you know, I'm trying to control my anger and stuff like that. It doesn't show in the videos because the, this, these videos, whenever I make videos, is just you know to relax and not to think about it. But there's just a lot of shit. I'm always on the edge. I'm pretty sure that I have anxiety problems, and you know, it's gonna take about year, even year and a half, for my thyroid hormones to go back to normal. I'm, I just had my blood test done, and if you hear anything outside the window, that's just construction. Uh, so I had my thyroid, 
you know, hormones under control via the pill that I take every morning. However, it's uh, it's a long process. Um, it, it's gonna require me getting a blood work done every six weeks. And remember, again, in the meantime, I have to go to college. I have to take my finals. I have to take the test. Because if I take time to go to college, at least I have to, you know, do well in it or, or whatever. Because if I wouldn't, it would just be a waste of time. And so, again, okay, here are we at the end of 2012. This is kind of my story. Um, maybe you guys have a story of your own. Um, dealing with cancer is, is a bitch. Because it spawns other issues, such as depression. And I do go through sometimes depression spells where I, where I just feel hopeless not that i'm you know making myself the victim or whatever but this it sometimes it controls me and i sometimes i just feel hopeless and, and defenseless and just 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 horrible uh today was kind of one of those days uh, i just want to get over and take a nap or whatever maybe feel better but anyway that's pretty much 2012 in a long shot in um uh, in uh six minute commentary so hopefully you guys enjoyed be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for listening and watching.